I uh, got a question from – got a number of questions from Anthony Moya in California. He's in Vista, California. I have no clue where that is, but, you know, California is a small state. It's probably right next to you. Um, <laughs> are you doing double escrow closings or assignments of contracts as a wholesaler? Ooh, good question. I'm doing straight assignments. Okay, why? Because that's the easiest way to do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's there's other methods, obviously closing, but the, you know it's the easiest way of doing it. Do you so get paid your assignment fee at closing uh, when the property closes instead of you know? As so many new wholesalers say, no, no, the course told me to get a check right then and there, and I've just never been able to make that happen. And I frankly don't see the need to. What's your take on it? Sheesh, I have the uh, only thing that I do differently, maybe is uh, is I said Jeff, that's kind of strange. Is when I assign my contract, assign, I sign my contract at par. At par. So yeah. What is, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like you know, let's just say contract value. I have it under contract is 180 thousand, right? So I would assign it at 180 thousand. Now how I get paid is I just invoice escrow as a fee, as a procurement fee. Oh. And I just have the yeah, and I have the M buyer basically sign off on that, and obviously that's going to be on the buyer side of the HUD, and the seller never sees it. So if the seller needs to go ahead and okay that assignment contract, the seller just looks at it as, oh, okay, it's one contract's one eighty, contract's one eighty, okay, cool. Versus if you have like a thirty thousand dollar assignment fee on there, and you're at one eighty, and then you're assigning at two ten, and then they see the assignment contract, the seller sees it, and then they're going to be like, what the heck is going on? You know, so. Oh man, I have never thought of that. Okay, wait, I gotta, I gotta make sure. I understand the the mechanics of that and and, and the reason for it. Let's just explain that uh, for anyone who doesn't understand. Um, A lot of times when you're assigning a deal, let's say you're making a a, a $20,000 profit. Um, Some players in that, when they see it on the HUD, may have a problem, you know, assignment fee, $20,000, or, or, you know, just there there, there could be emotional reasons that people have a hard time with that who are involved in the transaction. So you assign it for the same price that you're buying it for and you create an invoice like a company invoice you send that invoice to the person who's buying the property and you have them sign and agree that they owe you 20 grand or whatever your profit is out of the deal and you send that invoice to the closing company to the title company or the or the close title attorney whatever it is that you're using and then they just include it along with, you know, the, the pest inspector invoice, the, you know, whatever other invoices that are associated to get p- paid at closing. You just become another bill to pay. And tell me why that makes a difference. Because, uh, because on the HUD, the seller has no right to see the buyer side of the HUD. So bottom line is even if you put a $50,000, $60,000 invoice on there, which we've done in the past, the seller never finds it. Sees it, and then he says, "Say so." I never sees it, so it keeps it very clean and keeps it easy. And uh, and do you, know. do you make sure and tell your title company that you don't want them to see that side of the HUD, so that you know, because uh, they don't have a right to, but they could. Do you make sure and clarify that, or do you need to? Do you ever? Need to? Absolutely. I always say that. I says, "Yeah." I always tell them that. Now, obviously, if it's like an REO or short sale and that kind of stuff, yeah, you're not going to be able to pull that. So. So that's why I recommend everyone to do, you know, like I said in the beginning of the call, is that, is that this method is going to go down the least of, you know, path of least resistance is going out for selling. 